What's one thing that we all love? Cats. They're so cute. They do the most serious things. Huh? Unfortunately, some of us are allergic to cats. Not me. I actually, I used to have a cat. I, I kind of miss having a cat. I don't have one now, but my wife is allergic to cats. But you probably still at least think they're cute and would like to take one home, right? If you could. Well, there's an exception to that. Don't take this cat home. What's wrong with it? I think it's a scary game about a cat, so that sounds really interesting. So, uh, let's play it. Apparently, there's a bunch of endings to this game. You're having a great day, as usual. Oh, it got rain. Ah, oh, great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out, but in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical, but maybe this is just a sign that you've stayed home today. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow, right? You turn to head home when... Oh, no! That was the last thing I ever heard. Wait, what was that? There's only a few people around the streets. Makes sense to the cre- It's a cat! It's, it's a meow. It's literally a meow. Curiosity guiding your steps, you followed the sounds to the entrance of a dark, dingy- <laughs> Dingy hall alleyway. Surprised we heard it over the rain. Oh my god, there it is again. Is that a cow? <laughs> Sounds like a cow, guys. Oh, there it is! It's a cat! I guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. The black cat. They say those are bad luck, and I have a feeling this one will be bad luck as well. Oh, it's got paws. All right, I'm sold. I'll take you home. <laughs> See, I don't have a cat, but I do have a dog. Come here. Come here. I want to show you to the audience. Come here. She opens. Oh, God. You watch her stepping, dog. Look at her. I would take this dog home any day. Oh, pff, she sneezed. I, I have instincts, right? Great ones, too. This cat is fine. This is not an evil cat. I promise you, I would know. I would know if I saw an evil cat. Catnap is evil, but this is not a cat. Evil cat. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> it definitely knows it. It knows that you can tell. You look around the alley with a small frown. Who leaves cats in cardboard boxes these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? The cat doesn't answer you. Uh, maybe not unless they're the spawn of Satan. The cat doesn't answer you, obviously. It also doesn't... Do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you. It's just staring as it's waiting for you to make its next move. Okay. I know the game's called Do Not Take This Cat Home, but I'm gonna- I don't listen to the titles of the games. We're gonna take this cat home. Breaking all the rules. You know what? You need to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, facade. Okay, we get- Why not? You're all alone and well. I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so... Oh, so we're lonely too. No. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. Oh, it's purring. I remember when I did have a cat, my cat Scarlet. If you guys remember, uh, it was a long time ago, but she would freaking always just like, in the middle of the night, she would just jump on me and start like, they kind of like kneading, you know, like kneading dough, kind of like cats do that. Freaking hurts. And then she'll randomly bite me in the, like, she'd bite me in the face and make me so angry. <laughs> I think I got the evil cats, but you can't help but love them, you know? Let's get out of the rain, okay? Oh, You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food and then head back home. You live in a modest apartment. Well, you also got to go to the vet, too. You know, there's a lot of stuff that, that goes into taking care of animals. You got to make sure that they're disease-free and all that. Okay, so we live alone, so we took the cat home. Okay, we locked the front door, placing the cat on the floor. You watch for a moment as its curiosity explores the new environment. He's trying to learn. Living the feline on its own devices, you set uh, about making the both of you some dinner. All right, so we're feeding the kitty. Oh, it's a sardines. Here, eat your sardines, cat. And completely ignores it. Not hungry, I guess. Uh, you try not to let her annoy you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. No, they do not. And they love to just knock anything over that's on a, a shelf. It's just a cat, after all. I'll leave it if you get hungry later, okay? The cat rubs its body against your legs with a purr. You smile. That's enough of a thanks for you. All right, so we're making a sandwich. Whoa, dude, what just happened? Ow. You went as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing a tomato. Aw, oh, dang it, we're so clumsy. Stupid. You feel a little embarrassed for such a blender inside, tossing the knife into the cutting board. You're about to head to the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops into the counter. It sniffs at the knife and meows almost pointedly at you. Why is it doing that? Don't worry, it's alright, it's just an... You watch as the cat starts to... Oh my god! Did we cut our finger off? <laughs> Why is there so much? You little Nick! 
a thought. That's what it's hungry for? Okay, I should have listened. Do not take this cat home. Put the cat back. Oh no, this ain't good. You're so shocked by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. What? Hey, you don't have to do any dishes. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of the positives here, okay? I'm a positive thinking person. The cat sits back staring at you. I wouldn't go to sleep with this cat in the house. You feel a little uneasy. Sure, the cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird, right? Sure, you're no cat expert, but that will definitely not something, that's not something an ordinary cat will do, right? <laughs> that's the last thing you hear before you, you die. Well, you're not about to abandon a cat in need. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, why would you think this is a demon cat? You know, it's just something weird. Like my kid, my, my dog. My dog is a husky, right? She loves to eat bird poop. Oh my god. We have a lot of ducks at the park, right? It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's just, it's just treats everywhere. I can't stop her from eating bird poop, and I don't know why. She does it. I wouldn't consider that normal, but she does it, and I can't stop her. I, I try. I literally try. So, uh, it's just, you know, it's something like that. You know, just weird things that animals do. That's all. All right, so obviously we cover our finger with the bandage. The cat keeps trying to lick at the wound while you're eating your sandwich. Well, it's like it doesn't want its cat food. You gently push it away every time, but you start to get worried at the strange behavior. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're food now? You're not sure what you do if you start to get if it starts to get more aggressive. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get it off! Get it off! I'm not liking this cat already. Come on, enough already. Okay, so uh, so we're pushing it away, but we feel guilty. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. You take it to a vampire, give it blood. <laughs> okay, oh my god, so we, we picked up the phone to call the vet? The lights just went out? <laughs> oh, this can't all be a coincidence, right? Right? Great, just Ray must have knocked the power out. Yeah, that's what happened. You check your cell phone only to find that it's out of batteries. <laughs> this cat is uh, a problem, maybe. I think. Now listen, I might know a thing or two about cursed animals, you know, because, uh, you know, I went to the shelter the other day and I picked out this dog and, uh, I've been having lots of nightmares at night. <laughs> did, you, did you jump? Did you jump? You totally did. Don't lie. This all must be a coincidence. You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. It's quiet. Too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then why did the power go out? You look outside. The sky, it's pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. Oh! <laughs> the cat sits on top of the digital clock staring at you. What does that say? Does it kill? Thinking now, you realize the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, but the numbers are lit up, lit up and going completely haywire. The cat stares at you. It's completely still. You think it was a statue if you didn't know any better. It's not giving off any indication that it's alive. It's not blinking. It's not even breathing, but it's eyes. This isn't normal. Well, you don't freaking say you're afraid. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. You consider tossing the cat after the wall. Take the cat, fling it against the wall. Like, listen, I love animals. I would never, ever suggest to do that to an animal ever in real life. But in this game, I want to fling this cat against the wall. But as soon as your thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. It's putting us in its genjutsu. Those eyes, they hold you still. Even with your flashlight trained on it, the, its pupils are large, round inky pits. The flashlight flickers. Oh no, are we dead? Did we ever get the bad ending? The cat is gone. Fear immediately grips your mind. I am, yeah, it's just scary. How is it working without any power? You don't know why such a question matters at the moment, but you feel as if having the answers will make sense of everything that's happening. The order, order will be restored. But no answer comes to mind. You back away from the clock. Oh God. Okay, so we're just standing still and we're scared. And we're sensing that the cat is watching us. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bro, I, why, why, why is it the first thing I thought of was, let's play. I immediately thought of, ready, go. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Freaking playtime, screw that. Right into your ear. Right into your soul. It won't let you out. Not that you could even if it did. You can't stay here. You have to run. With a sod, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you. Making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of movement, of action. 
Bro, just kick it. Okay, so we're obviously gonna run, right? Oh, God. A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. At first, you think you've broken your ankle, but something warm and wet trickles down the length of your foot, pulling... Oh, no. He wants more. You hear the sound of metal scraping on the tiles after skidding across the floor as if, as if it had been kicked. Do we step on the knife? The light pouring in from now, your now open front door. Oh, the door's open. The cat stabbed us. It's your kitchen knife and still tainted red from your earlier blunder. But wait, no, that's not right. Wasn't it completely licked clean by the... You gulp dryly at the pain at your foot. <clears throat> you barely have time to wonder how the knife ended up at your living room floor to be stepped on. Instead of resting on your cutting board, the kitchen where you left it. Oh, <laughs> bad cat. When you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife, it spies right back at you. A pair of glowing golden eyes comes forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light of your doorway. It pads lightly over to the knife, the knife as if skipping in delight. Oh no, it just wanted more. Ah, your senses slowly begin to overwhelm you. The chill in the air as it starts to suffocate you under its weight. The sound of the shaky breaths. Discordant against the static now piercing your skull. Oh god, he licked it all. Golden eyes slide up to you as in response to your sudden realization. Blood? You're hurt. Your foot is bleeding. You're bleeding. I know. I see that, clearly. But you're already, on, you're already on your feet and out the door. You mean we actually escaped? You run or rather limp down the empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red, but there's a strange light emitting from nowhere that casts everything else in white. Oh my god. So he he actually did put us in a freaking jutsu, man. We, we're screwed. The houses, the trees, the road, even you, everything except your blood. You can hardly uh, glimpse the bloody imprints of your injured foot. Okay, so he's freaking just got us caught. The road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. Even then, you don't stop running because... If the cat is right there ahead of you, then what in the world is behind you? Look behind you. Huh? Interesting. How very interesting. Ending zero. It begins. All right, I guys, I changed my answer. This cat is not okay. Okay, uh, so yeah, what happens if we start another new game? Oh, it's sunny today. Oh. Wait, was that was that how it was last time? Oh no, no, it was definitely raining. Wait, what was that? So the weather's different this time. <laughs> Gary! Weird, that's crazy. Why is it different now? Okay, so let's do not take the cat home. Sadly, as cute as the cat is, you'd never take this thing home with you. You just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. You have rent and bills to pay for, not to mention you need to buy food to survive too. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I mean, if you can't pay for the cat, don't have the cat. But, but no matter what, don't have this cat. What to do? Uh, what is this? You are not ready. Oh, can we not do this yet? Leave the cat. Leave it. Sorry, see you around, I guess. You stand up the cat watching your every move. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. Don't give me those cat eyes. Ignore it. Resist the cat You leave the alley and continue on your way. Wait, what was I doing and all the excitement of dealing with your furry dilemma? You have forgotten that you still hadn't decided on what you were going to do for your day off Go to the dog park. Okay, we're gonna get a dog. That's gonna fix everything Okay, so you think going to the park will make you feel better first you get to see a cute cat today now You'll get to see cute dogs several of them in fact the park is- oh yeah, these are dogs. Look at these dogs. Alright, they're playing frisbee, fetch, running, jumping, even napping. Such cuties. Whatever, like you'd want anything to do with these mangy mutts. Oh my god, the cat is putting Doss on her head. <laughs> What's wrong? You didn't think that. You decide to move on. Oh no, the cat has imprinted on us. There's nothing we can do. You don't have to wait very long. Bark. Oh, there's like- oh, look at the doggy. I love the doggies. I love dogs. I mean, I love cats too, don't get me wrong, but this game is starting to change my mind. No, I, li I like them both, but they they definitely are different. Like, cats will pretty much pretend like they hate you all the time, but like, they'll still stay close to you. So you know that they love you, but they just never show it. <laughs> this is creepy music. You stop the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen scampers up to you, blocking your path. What the heck? No! What? 
No! <laughs> None of the above, except for pick up the puppy, baby. Oh my God! <laughs> What's happening? Why is there a timer? Oh, you couldn't see it. My face was blocking, but there was like a short timer. Terrified you dropped the puppy to the ground, practically throwing it from you. Oh my god. That escalated quickly. I'm sorry. You called out, but they don't turn back or respond. Not that you expect them to. You deserved it. Guess we're saying sorry to the owners. Leave the park. Oh my god. It good. <laughs> good. What happens if we go watch a movie? Is it a movie about a cat? What's about to happen? Let's go to the new cinema. Why not? Deciding to wait for the movie you've been anticipating to be available on DVD or streaming, you join the long line outside the new cinema. By the time you've reached the ticket booth, you just want to get inside. The, this music is creepy. The decor is chic and sleek, and the inside is bustling with people. Is there a cat in there? You go through the halls. You follow the signs of the theater designed and you're designated in your ticket before heading inside. It's the cat in the hat? We're, we're going to watch the cat in the hat? Wow, this thing is packed. So many people. Oh, so we're so it's so packed we're sitting all close to the theater. I still won't forget the time I watched Jurassic Park and I was like this in the theater. Like that? I've said this before already, but still. Seeing Chris Pratt with his freaking stretched out shin because that's how close he was to me. Dinosaurs just looked weird at that point. It was, I was awful. Hated it. The lights fade out, but the chatter doesn't. The rest of the audience seems con content to talk through the commercials and even through the trailers. You figure the chatter will stop when the movie actually begins, but it doesn't even get slightly quieter as the opening scene starts to play out. Would you guys shut up, please? This is why you avoid movie theaters like the plague. Oh my God. It is a cat in the hat. Oh my God. Suddenly the screen changes showing the face of a black cat, a familiar black cat. Confused murmurs fill the room and then the cat on the screen meows. <laughs> it's speaking Japanese. The sound is strange and not at all like the cat should sound. Haunting, almost melodic. Melodic. And layers if multiple voices of different creatures. What movie did we see again? Uh, this is really creepy actually. You sit in confusion wondering why no one has gotten up and left to complain uh, to the cinema staff. Th this is what they came in here for. But then you hear it. It's scattered and dissonant at first. But amongst the crowd, the people start to chant along with the cat on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be so terrifying. <laughs> yeah. And someone turns to you. They're like... Yeah, I love this movie. Yeah, who are you people? The entire room is chanting in perfect unison. <laughs> oh my god! You start to notice out of the corner of your eye that some of the people in your immediate vicinity are looking at you. I called it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god! They're outright staring holes into you, even as they continue chanting. <laughs> Sound. Uh, try to leave the theater. Wait, try to blend in. Are we just gonna start chanting too? Let's leave this freaking theater, man. Yeah, this is too weird, man. Nate, you're never gonna see this movie again. All right, are we gonna be able to leave? Everything comes to an abrupt stop. All the chanting stops. Even the cat chanting on the screen. You tense and risk a glance around the theater. Oh, they don't like it. They did not like that. Every single one of them. They're not even blinking. Okay, let's leave. Let's go. Okay, so we think someone's gonna grab us, but no one does. You don't hear any of them get up. You exit the theater holding your breath as the doors close behind you. You briskly walk through the halls, putting as much distance as possible between you and the theater full of people. As you should. Oh god, we're panting. You expect to feel relief as your breathing calms, but you feel a lingering sense of dread that only spikes once you finally notice it. As well, it's the source. You look up and your stomach sinks. What? What? What's happening? Oh my god. All the people in the lobby uh, area of the movie theater, everyone in line at the concession stand, all of them are staring at you and they... They look even angrier than the people in the theater. You don't hesitate this time. You duck your head avoiding eye contact to leave the cinema. 
You ignore the glares of everyone in the ticket booth and the lines heading leading to them. Dude, this is a nightmare. This is giving me chills. Whatever you dare to look up someone in the way, you flinch at the bla blatant anger, fury, and disgust in their face. This is what happens when we don't take the cat home. I don't know what's what, what's worse. You hear the faint sound of a cat's meowing behind you, or maybe even kittens. Doesn't matter. You just want to go home. You reach the front door and fumble with the keys. Coming from the look of pure hatred in your neighbor's face, is he? Oh, even the neighbor. Okay, so it's everybody. He basically is just gonna. He's he's guilt tripping us into not adopting him. That's what he's doing. You lock all the locks on the doors. Okay, we're trying to catch our breath. Uh, it's, oh god, this is terrifying. All right, we're just going to lay down under the covers. Maybe it's all just a bad dream. As you fall into the fitful sleep, sure to be full of nightmares of glaring eyes, you try to ignore the ever-increasing sounds of cats meowing. Oh no. Ending 17, black sheep. There's like 30 endings. I don't think we're gonna get them all, guys. Let's just keep continuing. Let's, I just like want to see what's different every time. So why did it start raining and then it's not raining now? Okay, let's take the cat home again this time. I mean, what can we do differently? Okay, so we, all right, so we're going home. You consider getting cat food, but that'd be a waste of time. Oh, it's changing. It's changing now. You shrug at the odd feeling and move on. You live in a modest apartment, so we didn't even get cat food this time. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you wait for it to walk away and explore the new environment. But it simply sits and looks at you expectantly. Do something alone. Do something with the cat. Uh, with the cat. Like what? Clean cat. Play with cat. Does it? I, I'm just. I'm just curious. Does it at least play? Poor thing was probably bored stiff sitting in that old box all day. Give it some yarn or something. You know. Oh, you just want some attention, don't you? You want to play, huh? Okay then. What a. Uh, let's play. Hey, what did I say? Yarn? There it is, right there. I don't think cats probably actually- they probably don't love yarn. You know what they love? Anything that's not a toy. Like a box. That's what they love. You unearth some uh, yarn from an old box, so we get some yarn. Okay. Will it play with the yarn? I'm gonna guess no. The cat is resting on the floor. Here, kitty, play with the yarn. Oh, it seems interesting a little bit. Like how the yarn's red. Oh, horror. The sudden shift of the cat's demeanor makes your heart start to beat a little faster. Its posture has barely changed at all. Just a subtle shift of the head and ears. A slight tension in the shoulders. It's on guard. And yet, the air is thick with their eagerness to lunge forward. Oh, God. Can't this cat just be normal for once? Okay, what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> Yoink! The cat had lunged uh, the instant you wiggled the yarn. But you're faster. Oh, okay. So it's kind of acting like a cat. You wiggle the yarn again, uh, encouragingly. And yes, maybe a little tauntingly. The cat is not gonna like this. Come on, you can do it. It's a little condescending, but you can't seem to help it. For some reason, it feels like a good uh, knocking the feline down a peg or two. Yeah, as you should. It's actually playing, and then the... The music's getting creepy. You can swear it nearly took a shot at your eye that last time. It has jumped so high and er erratically. You've been keeping the yarn in constant motion and afraid to slow down. Your wrist is starting to get tired. The cat doesn't seem to be losing any energy, though. It's like... Ugh. It's getting faster and faster. This music is creepy! Oh, God! Your wrist finally cramps sharply, making you lose control of the uh, yarn's motion as the tip of it brushes lightly against your stomach. Ow! Pain rips slow across your torso, into your torso. Oh my god, I guess it's that strong? Jeez, dude. Uh, the, the, the freaking cat done killed us. Oh my, oh my god. This got crazy, dude. He killed us. And it's just staring at us. Darkness falls over you. The cat sounds happy. Nonsensically, you wonder where the yarn has gone, but... There's no need to worry about it. The cat seems content with the next best thing. That's what it wanted to play with? Oh, no. It's like we give it ideas, and it just comes with the most sick, uh, twisted version of it. End of the rope. That's what that was called. It's very clever, <laughs> but also it's terrifying. So something. every time we do something with a cat, like, okay, clean the cat. 
What's it gonna do to us now that we clean the cat? I just want to see. Let's carefully clean the cat. It's letting us clean him. Look at that. That's how you know this cat's weird. Cats hate. At least my cat, man. They don't. They just meow. And they're just scared. <laughs> they try to climb out of the tub and everything. The cat seems like it's in heaven as you brush it. Yeah, this cat ain't right. It likes. It likes showers. Wait, quite a lot of fur is sticking to you. You try to brush it off, but it won't come up. <laughs> oh no, man. Can't this just be normal? Guess you're up next for a bath yourself. You try to ignore the fur and finish with the cat quickly, but more hair keeps sticking to you. Your heart, your arms, and hands. Before you realize you're covered in fur that won't come off. It's sick enough, but you just try to yank it off, but... Wait, what? Pain lances through the spot you tugged at. Upon closer inspection, you see that the hair is growing. Growing out of you. Oh my god, we're a wolf. I can actually feel it now. It's growing out of your back and your neck. Your face. Is that us? Your eyes? Not the tongue. Ugh. Oh my god. This is absolutely terrifying. This makes it this makes anyone scared of owning a cat now. Death by hair. You class start to choke at the thickening fur in your esophagus. The cat leans up to uh, your lap at the fur growing at your forehead. Grooming your hair as thoroughly as it did before. It's licking us now with its rough tongue. You think it'd be sweet if you weren't currently losing air. Still, feels nice at least to be looked at after ca and cared for in some way because we live alone, right? Even if it's just for a little while longer. Screw this cat, man. Self-care buddies. This, <laughs> they're so freaking... The, the ending names are so crazy. Look how many endings there are. There's 40! Alright, yeah, I'm gonna be skipping a lot of it. I just want to see the endings. Uh, let's see. Because I'll be here all day reading this. I, but, hey! If you guys want to get the full thing, go download the game yourself. I highly encourage it, as, as, as always. It's free, and it's a cool... It's a really well-made game. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much. It's actually really funny. Like, funny and creepy. Okay, hello. So, we fed the cat, right? What's wrong with petting the cat? What is petting the cat gonna do? Okay, we're petting the cat. Poor thing, you just want some- don't call it poor thing. It's not a poor thing. You rub behind the ear, okay. Good. You keep petting the cat in your lap. But the cat starts to get restless after a while. And the thing about petting cats is like, you- you can't pet them too little or- Because like, they, they want you to keep going, right? You can't pet them too little and you can't pet them too much. You have to pet them just- just enough. Because eventually, if you keep petting, they will bite. Or maybe that was just my cat. Keep petting. Meow. <laughs> Keep petting. When you scratch under the cat's chin, it bites your fingers. You might be bleeding, but it barely hurts. More of a warning than anything. This cat struggles in your hold. We can't stop petting. Keep petting! You keep petting the cat. Oh my god! Oh! It just gets worse! My fingers! You're definitely bleeding now, but for some reason... You just can't stop. I gotta keep petting the cats. It's purring? It seems calmer now, munching on this. Oh my god, this is so terrifying. And it's so descriptive. We're just petting with our stump now. It's dark outside now. Soft as the fur is, your palm has started to feel raw and damp under the constant friction from your petting. You think faintly that you, you've had enough. Yeah, you think? You start to lift your hand from the cat when it flash. Oh, but just kill this. It just freaking killed us for no reason. All right, that cat's it's very rude. My hand is gone. Oh my god Ha huh, it hurts. It's not something to laugh at You the cat looks up at you and feels compelled To keep petting so we're just gonna keep petting this cat until there's nothing left of us You feebly try to raise your uninjured hand to the pet the cat, but it stiffens golden eyes glinting dangerously Well, alrighty then Oh, don't. Oh, God. You bleed, you pet. Oh, no. This is getting awful. Personal boundaries. Funny name. Alright, what happens if we play with the cat? Let's buy a toy. Yeah, like we should really be doing that. What kind of sick, twisted way is this cat gonna freaking mess with the toy? You know? Like, I, I really wanna know. Alright, you know exactly what to get. We find something that he wants. 
I'm back. Oh, it didn't tell us what we got. The alley feels even gloomier after spending time in direct sunlight. It makes you feel that much prouder of your gift. You skip over to the cat and dig into the store's plastic bag. I've got something for you. The cat leans up, curious at the bag's contents. You pull out your gift to the bat to the cat. It's another cat! Yay! <laughs> it's Mod Cat Plushie. It's not gonna like this. It's like, this doesn't look like me. There's no denying it's just a plushie, but the thought thoughtful details still make it almost uncanny to the real thing. Which makes it perfect. A companion for the cat. And one you could actually afford. Win-win! That's not all. You give the plushie a little squeeze and... It says meow. The cat looks unimpressed. Well, you think it's cute? Guess your purchase wasn't so successful after all. Uh, or you think it's cute is what I said. Like, we think it's cute, but not the cat. Out of the options and lower on cash, you awkwardly place the plushie into the box next to the cat. You get up and turn to leave. You take a few steps away and you hear an electronic meow behind you. Meow. Oh no. All of a sudden you hear, hell nah! <laughs> you know that, that meme? That meme that's been going around? Hell nah. He doesn't like it. He, he pushed the button. He doesn't like it. You turn to see the plushie on the ground next to the box. The cat is watching you closely staring. Pick up the plushie. You really just you really just want attention, don't you? Oh, don't. It's fake. You hold up the cat doll, examining a little. It looks a little different. Oh my god, it's watching us! Did it just look at you? It pulls out a knife. What? Oh. Um, Oh. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> what did I say? What sick and twisted thing is it gonna do with its toy? With this toy? Of course, possess it and kill us with it. Oh no. Why does the cat do this? Who put the cat? Who owned this cat at one point? It, it, wait, we can't get it off. Eventually, you start to feel faint, enough to collapse your knees and defeat. You stuff the stuffed doll is- Oh my god, it's like a vampire. It's just freaking sucking us dry. It seems, it seems satisfied that you're no longer putting up a fight. You think you blacked out for a second. Is it still doing it? You see a kitten. It's fur a familiar orange cream with burnt sepia stripes. It's laughing at your wrists. The kitten lifts its head and looks at you with piercing pale green eyes. It smells at you with a high squeaky pitch, mouth covered in blood. It'd be downright adorable if it wasn't about to, if you weren't about to die, yeah. What the heck? Before, okay, what's going on? The cat carries the kitten back to the box, starts to carefully and delightfully, dutifully clean it. It would seem that it is in the end. You got in the cat a playmate after all. Ending 34, living doll. Okay. Well, I've been playing for an hour and I only got six endings and I skipped a lot of the text. So that tells you it's a pretty freaking long game. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want another episode. I want to see why this cat's doing this. But again, it's going to take a, a while, you know. I think I might have to skip some endings. But uh, yeah, I highly encourage you guys to go download it. It's a really cool game. Today's Scrub of the Day goes to... Akba Cowl.